What's going on everyone, Wildshy here bringing you another PSP tutorial and today I'll be showing you guys how to launch your ISOs and CSOs on 6.20 TN-A and for those who are skeptical and don't believe me that I'm about to launch an ISO on 6.20 firmware I'm gonna go ahead and take out the UMD that's in my drive that I just backed up so I can do this demonstration and I'm gonna toss it off to the side so now that the UMD is out of my drive, I'm going to go ahead and launch the homebrew app that I will be using to launch my ISOs. And that homebrew app is called Prompheus ISO Loader. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it and I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough through the program. It's not really all, all that complicated because it has instructions on the screen, but I will be running through them anyway. So as you can see, it's just a basic text menu. and you can change a different set, a few different settings. Um, by pressing select, you can change the current ISO mode from Sony to M33 driver. But personally, I prefer Sony, so I'm going to change that back. You can press start to change the ISO directory unless you have it somewhere else. And you can press square to refresh the menu once you've done that. And you can press X to launch the ISO and press circle to exit the program. So next, I'm going to press X to launch Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep that I just backed up. And as you guys can see in a moment, there we go. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep is now running on 6.20 firmware. Perfectly fine. And I hope you guys enjoyed this PSP video tutorial. And it's pretty much just like any other homebrew app. All you have to do is drag the folder into your PSP and then your game folder. And it should work just like any other homebrew app. So as you can see, there we go. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep is running, and for those who want the program, it's linked in the description, and it's on two file servers, Mediafire and Mega Upload. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.